the race to field the world's first sixth-generation fighter is on, with no less than nine programs currently undergoing development around the world. But who will be the first to the finish line, and which sixth-gen aircraft will come out on top? There is no definitive list of requirements for an aircraft to be considered sixth-gen, but many ongoing programs share a high degree of similarity. One hallmark of a next-gen aircraft will be significantly greater intelligence than any previous aircraft. In the past, pilots took to the sky with nothing but machine guns bolted to their wings. However, tomorrow's aircraft will be some of the smartest machines ever put into the sky. Artificial intelligence AI will be crucial for handling the immense amount of information from onboard sensors and allied platforms. The ability to achieve data fusion or the capability of merging data from numerous sources into one coherent picture for the pilot will also be essential. Sixth-gen fighters will need to handle high-capacity military networking like America's Link-22. Sixth-gen aircraft will need to have the capability to be optionally manned. Although not all sixth-gen programs are pursuing the use of drone wingmen, a sixth-gen fighter should be capable of flying missions solo or by remote control. Next-gen pilot aircraft integration will involve replacing current analog or digital displays with virtual cockpits projected onto helmet displays. Stealth will be a necessary requirement for 6th Gen fighters. These aircraft should at a minimum be able to delay enemy weapon locks significantly, meaning their stealth must defeat high-frequency radars. Programs like America's NGAD are looking to field 6th Gen fighters capable of defeating even low-frequency radar, making them true stealth fighters, not merely low observable. 6th Gen fighters will need variable cycle engines, also known as adaptive cycle engines, which can change their operation based on flight conditions to maximize efficiency. This will enhance the flexibility and overall efficiency of next-gen aircraft. Some 6th Gen concepts are working towards employing directed energy weapons, including lasers for both offensive and defensive purposes. The U.S. already has an operational laser decoy device that can create a clone of the aircraft nearby, luring enemy missiles towards the decoy. India is developing the HAL Advanced Medium Combat Aircraft, initially designed as a fifth-generation fighter with the potential to be upgraded to sixth-gen capabilities. The project has a development cost of $2 billion and involves collaboration between government organizations and private companies. Japan began its sixth-generation fighter program with international cooperation, primarily with the UK. The program aims to produce an aircraft ready to fly by the mid-2030s. Russia announced the MiG-41 as a successor to the MiG-31, claiming it could fly at Mach 4. However, given Russia's limited defense industry and international sanctions, the realization of this project is doubtful. FCAS is a joint project between Germany, Spain, and France, aiming to develop a sixth-gen fighter with data fusion, unmanned capabilities, and possibly laser weapons. Led by the UK with Italy and Sweden participating, the Tempest project aims to produce a highly modular aircraft capable of adapting to various missions, utilizing AI to maximize combat capabilities. In conclusion, the race to develop a sixth-generation fighter involves various countries with unique approaches and challenges. Who will be first and best remains an intriguing question for the future.